subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Cyclone Tau Te has continued rapid intensification today, and by our analysis is now a Category 2 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale. We have a position at 14.8 degrees north, 72.7 degrees east, as of 6.30 a.m. IST time this May the 16th. We have it at winds of 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 966 millibars, moving north-northwest at 9 miles per hour, or 15 kilometers per hour, we have a high end stage 6 on the CDPS scale, with wind speed being just above major, storm size being significant, rainfall potential being just above major, and the overall threat is major. A stage 6 means that devastating damage is possible wherever uh, Tal Te makes landfall. This is for Porbandar, India on Tuesday afternoon IST time. Our current wind fields for Cyclone Tal Te look like this 100 nautical miles to the northeast. 115 nautical miles to the southeast, 140 nautical miles to the southwest, and 125 nautical miles to the northwest. Current distances, it is currently 78 miles or 125 kilometers from Panaji, 99 miles or 160 kilometers uh, from Malvan, 301 miles or 485 kilometers from Mumbai, 526 miles or 846 kilometers from Porbandar, and 800 miles or 1288 kilometers from Karachi and Pakistan. We do currently have some cyclone warnings in effect. The locations are listed on that bar. So uh, we do have some warnings in effect for uh, Tau Te. The current estimates look like this. 100 miles per hour is what we're giving it. ADT and SATCON have just recently come up to 85 miles per hour. And the JTWC and MSU are down at 75 miles per hour. Here's our current forecast cone made by our own Ethan Bruning. We have a day and a half of 150 miles per hour for our peak. So you can tell, rapid intensification, we don't expect it to stop. We expect it to keep going. A little bit of weakening before landfall down to 140 miles per hour in about two days. That is what we expect it to make landfall as. And after landfall, we expect rapid weakening to take place. By day five, we expect this will be a dissipated cyclone over India. But still a 140 mile per hour landfall again uh, in about two days. Sea surface temperatures are certainly conductive for that. They're very warm, over 30 degrees Celsius for the majority of its lifetime from now to landfall. So with the conditions that models are depicting, they're predicting uh, wind shear to decrease now from now on to landfall. So conditions are going to be very favorable for strengthening our maximum wind field here at, from the H Wharf, strongest winds coming ashore uh, in a few days. Uh, rainfall widespread four to eight inches with local pockets of 16 inches of rain. Multi mile diagnostic comparison. Models have been a bit behind with this storm, but they do still show strengthening to take place over the next few days up to landfall. Wind shear is going to be on the downtrend from now to about halfway through the 17th, so that will only help intensification. Sea surface temperatures are going to stay above 30 degrees Celsius up until landfall pretty much and mid-level relative humidity will be on the decrease after the 16th down to less than 60 percent by the 19th. Current imagery looks like this. It's had a very good day so far or night I suppose I should say in IST time. It has some really good blow-ups of convection. You can see that real good one uh, there at the end. Some I, some cloud tops earlier were going towards 93 or 94 degrees Celsius uh, in the on the infrared. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to 413 not only on YouTube but Twitter for the latest information on Cyclone Tau Te.